Life to Better Living. Last Thursday, we were in Finley for the Life's Better Here Summer Tour. It was so great, and we've decided to continue it for just a little bit longer. So I'm here now with Brian from the University of Finley. It is that time of year. We are ready to move some students in. Yes, very is, soon. Can you believe that? It's hard What's to believe. Ago? Graduation was yesterday. It, it feels really like, feels like so. that. I've got one that's going to college this year. So let's talk Man. about what freshmen need particularly freshmen, all students, sure. though. What do they need when they're moving in, and what are some of those things that they forget? Sure. I would say it's always good to check with the school first because every school will publish some sort of list, usually online or in an email that they send to students, about what to bring, um, what's required, what's a maybe thing to bring, and then what's not expected or not recommended to bring. Okay. Some of the basics are bedding. Uh, we talked about this a few minutes ago. Yeah. But schools have typically twin extra long sheets where the regular twin size sheets will work just fine. They just flip up quite a bit. Okay. So for convenience sake, it's better just to get the twin extra long sheets. Bring an extra set. Uh, the goal is for students to do laundry every once in a Please while. Please change your sheets. I'm begging you. But sometimes they don't. And sometimes in December, the <laughs> same sheets will still be on there. But it's good to have an extra set so you can, so you can do laundry and not be rushed making the bed again. Extra towels shower shoes, uh, some sort of tote or container to take things down to the showers. Uh, it's good to have a couple different options as far as weather goes. Mm -hmm. uh, right now it's warm. We aren't thinking about 20 below right. weather, but that will come before we know it. So it's good to have hats, gloves, earmuffs, boots, things like that for when the cold weather hits. Um, some of the things students forget, they forget some of the essentials. You bring your TV, you bring um, other electronics, but you don't bring the coaxial cable to mm. connect the TV to the cable. Uh, you bring a flashlight, but you don't bring batteries to go with that flashlight or batteries to go with a clock. Uh, you sometimes don't remember to bring um, some things that are versatile. It's really important that every piece of, of furniture that you might bring in sure. or everything has multiple purposes because no matter what you bring, students will use it for a chair. So it's good to make so sure that true. it's sturdy, make sure that everything has multiple purposes, that it can be used as storage and as a chair or as storage and as a step stool to get to higher places. Um, students just need to think about what is essential, make a list, double check that list, and then condense the list to the things that they do not need. Condense, that's a good word because yeah. I think uh, we have kind of ideas about how much room we have and really there's, there's not as much room yeah. as you think there is. Everybody would love to think that their residence hall is the most spacious yeah. in the world, uh, but it's still a, a residence hall and there's still at least typically two people living in that room. So we've had students bring a U-Haul worth of stuff where you see them haul everything up, but mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, everybody's helping them load things up, and then an hour later, half of the down. things are coming back down. So it's really just important to think about what is truly necessary. You don't need all of your dress clothes, right. but you should have one set of dress clothes for more formal occasions. Um, luggage is something that typically gets brought, but once you get the clothes there, there's no other purpose to having the luggage there. So a good suggestion would be a trash bag because trash bags can then be used to pack up everything and take it to a dumpster or to leave in the room for the trash can. Um, just try to have everything have a purpose once you get it up there. Or to bring uh, that laundry bag to mom and dad's to <laughs> yeah. wash, for sure. You yes. know, every break, yes. every break. Absolutely, because that's the only time it's getting done, that's for sure. <laughs> what are some unusual items that you've seen some freshmen bring with them? Sure. One of my favorites, we had a student bring a full-size refrigerator. Yeah, so, cause that seems like a good idea. You know, they apparently liked a lot of things in their fridge. Okay. But brought it all the way up to the third floor with no elevators, and then wow. unfortunately had to come all the way back yes, down yes. Uh -huh. with that. We've had students bring hunting equipment, not thinking that on a college campus that tends to Probably. have different meanings. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we've had students bring a full walk-in closet. <laughs> Uh, worth of clothes and then have to take half of yeah. it back and it's easier to make those choices at home than in the pressure of move-in day. That makes a lot of sense. Um, we've had airsoft guns, we've had um, paintball materials, just you name it, we've had it. So. Well, I think students probably need to remember as much as the social aspect is important, the most important reason they're there is for education and yes. perhaps paintballing is not you know, <laughs> yeah. the most important. Now you did bring a few things with sure. you that perhaps we don't think about needing but they sure. really should remember and 
Umbrella is for sure. An true. umbrella and rain boots. Um, yes. It's going to rain and at home you can just run to a closet and grab yeah. those. But if you don't remember those, that can be a little stressful the first time it rains. Uh, we have a three hole punch, which really goes along all the school supplies that you might yeah. not think at home you have access to those. But if not, three hole punch, a pair of scissors, some paper clips, highlighters, uh, binders and notebooks, but then also a stapler, a mini mm. stapler. If you print off a 10 page paper, it helps to staple Absolutely. it for the instructor's sake. Uh, and then with technology, we have like a, a jump drive or a laptop or some students still use desktops or a tablet. Uh, something to think about is the need for a printer is typically you don't need one because schools have print right. stations, they have computer labs, and the cost of having a printer and the need to always have those supplies, you know, constantly have extra sets of ink, things like that, it's not typically necessary. It makes sense, uh, but this kind of thing, you know, this is the kind of thing you can certainly find somewhere on the university, but if you have it in your room, that's going to make it mm -hmm. a lot easier. Mm -hmm. If somebody is interested in the University of Findlay, uh, you guys are certainly easy to get a hold of. Right. You can visit our website at www.finley.edu or give us a call. We're happy to talk to students, um, and if you're an incoming student, you should receive communication regularly. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. That's right. You want to make that move-in day as easy as possible because it will be a time for some tears. <laughs> I'm already ready to start yeah. shedding those. We'll be right back on Better Living. Fire